Hey everybody, welcome back for some brand new content about the show that's serving us up the biggest helping of crazy in the history of this series, The Walking Dead. Warning, beyond this point there are spoilers for people who are not up to date in The Walking Dead comic books and television series. In this video we're going to give you our binge breakdown of the trailer for episode 3 in season 10 of The Walking Dead. We're also going to go over the episode synopsis and finally we'd like to talk about season 11 and a ghostly spoiler we learned regarding a tiny skeleton in Carol's closet. First let's take a look at this trailer. The second episode gave us some huge insight into the Whisperer's disturbing past, but now we're back to the present timeline and ready to see some Carol vs. Alpha action. The trailer starts with a shot of someone walking toward Alexandria's outer gates, who is most likely new Whisperer Lieutenant Gamma. She sacrificed her own sister in Episode 2 for her psychotic leader, so she is definitely someone the survivors should be worried about. The question is, does she have any ulterior motives? Does she plan on taking Alpha down as revenge for her sister's baby? The following shot shows Michonne looking at something with concern, which is most likely the approaching Whisperer. After that, we see Daryl and Michonne approaching the gates, and the very next shot confirms that it is Gamma at those gates. The trailer then cuts to a few night shots of Daryl, Michonne, and some other survivors approaching the infamous pike border that divides the land between the two groups. During these shots, we hear Gamma ordering the Alexandrians to go to the border. Go to the border and wait. The next shot cuts back to the daytime at the gates where Daryl asks why they should go to the border. Following that moment, the trailer cuts back to a few more nighttime shots at the pikes, although these shots show the whisperers approaching. After that, we get Gamma's response to Daryl. Wait for what? Her. Her being Alpha, of course. The trailer then cuts to a rapid-fire succession of shots back at the border meeting. First, of Carol, who seems to be going on the offensive with Alpha. Then to a concerned-looking Michonne, then Daryl, who both don't want to risk losing anyone else. The next shot shows the border in the middle dividing the survivors from the Whisperers, while we hear a line from Michonne saying Alpha just wants to talk. But does she really? That shot transitions to Michonne finishing her line and we quickly get a response from the survivors. The Highwaymen want justice! They don't want to back down, and can you blame them? This shot shows the Council's reaction to the civil unrest. They really are in a lose-lose situation here. Next, we get another concerned citizen speaking his mind. They don't put their heads on spike! Yeah. Honestly, that's how we feel too. After that, the trailer cuts to Michonne approaching the inner gates as the townspeople are all watching something happen, which we find out after Michonne breaks out the binoculars in the next shot is walkers or whisperers at their gates. Over that shot, we hear a line from Michonne about Alpha's horde. If she sends that horde, that's it. But is it though? How safe are they gonna play it before someone snaps? What do you think? Should the survivors do what the Whisperers want, or should they silence them? Following that moment, the trailer cuts to a few shots of the Alexandrians exiting the gates. We believe they're most likely headed to that nighttime meeting at the border. After that, we get a shot of Aaron out in the woods somewhere with other survivors. He's covered in blood, and we wonder if that shot matches this one from the original trailer where it appears Negan saves Aaron. Is Negan coming along for this field trip? There's no sign of him in this trailer, but they may be keeping his involvement under wraps for now. Which begs the question, could he play some sort of major role in this episode? The next shot shows Daryl killing a walker in the dark. Is he fighting at the border meet or another location? The trailer then cuts to a moment with Carol inside of some industrial building. We believe this location matches this shot from the first Season 10 trailer. From the sneak peek on Episode 2 of The Talking Dead, we know Henry will be in this episode. Mom? so chances are this is where that happens. The next shot shows Carol looking at what seems to be a whisperer, but since Carol is hallucinating, it could be just a ghost from her past, which we'll get into more later. After that is a shot of Michonne also killing a walker. What do you think? Did Alpha unleash a herd on the survivors? Will everyone make it out of this episode alive? During the last few shots, we hear Alpha's dialogue whispering that they have to be punished. The next shot shows Alpha face to face with Carol saying, You better run. Alpha really has no idea what Carol is capable of and probably won't until it's too late. The next shot shows Whisperers arming up and getting ready for a fight. Why don't the survivors have any guns? Can't Eugene make some more bullets? It's kind of ridiculous at this point. The last shot of the trailer just shows Alpha and her creepy ass smile. She really needs some lithium. 
What do you think? Is this night the start of the Whisperer War or just a small battle where Alpha tries to reassert her dominance? The episode synopsis reads, The threat of the Whisperer's return leads to paranoia sweeping over Alexandria. In the meantime, Carol battles with the need for revenge. There's not much in this synopsis we haven't picked up from the trailer and season to date, but we do wonder how deep the paranoia in Alexandria will go. Will someone try to hurt or kill one or more of the council members? They need to be united, but fear does divide. We'll have to wait until next weekend to know for sure. Next up, we'd like to talk about the very early confirmation for Season 11. This was announced at New York Comic Con, and we believe this news is a good sign for this season as the episodes must be very compelling to get AMC to break out their checkbooks before it's even aired. We know Maggie will be back by Season 11, but will there be other surprises as well? What do you think? Will the Whisperer War carry on into the next season? Shivers, shivers. You're gonna love it. Finally, we'd like to talk about a spoiler we learned regarding Carol's alone time in this haunted-looking building. We all know she's going to see Henry, but there is also someone else from her past that is allegedly showing up. Young actress London Riley Piggott is listed for this episode as Breakfast Girl on IMDb, but when you go to her acting resume online, she is listed as Young Lizzie in a flashback. We're not sure how Carol could recognize Young Lizzie, but it's clear she's going to be wrestling some serious demons here. What do you think? Will Carol do what she does best and kill? Or will she finally decide to turn the other cheek and break the chain of violence? We want Carol to get her revenge, but either way, we know Alpha is going down. Thanks so much for watching our videos, everyone. As always, we're on the lookout for spoilers and insider info to help prove or disprove all the theories out there about that show where crazy people wear rotten flesh masks and make everyone else crazy along with them. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Binge Rampage. Click the notification bell for our channel so you can see our next video as soon as it comes out. And don't forget to subscribe. We fear nothing. We are free. We need no words. We are free. We, we embrace, embrace all death. We are free.